Hey guys, it's myself here. Welcome back to the channel. And today I wanted to share with you guys a few tips and recommendations of what I think you should do before you update your iPhone from iOS 14 over to iOS 15. And yes, iOS 15 is literally four or five days away from this video. Apple has made it official. iOS 15 will be available to everyone worldwide on Monday, September the 20th. This is an official day when the software will be live and again, available for everyone worldwide. And I wanted to share with you guys some tips and recommendations of things I recommend you do before you go ahead and update your device. Now, keep in mind that when you go to update your device, things could go wrong. It's always a possibility. So based on my experience with the software, I've been using it for every single beta until now, and I have the RC running on this device, pretty much the final version. This is the first thing you must do. Go over to your iCloud settings, go over to your iCloud sections right here, and make sure that you have the backup option enabled. So iCloud backup, you wanna make sure that if you wanna use the iCloud, you enable this switch and make Make sure you turn it green turn it on just like so now you have several options once this is enabled this will automatically start backing up all your data that you have synced to back up to the cloud once you connect your iphone to a power source and wi-fi so pretty much when you go to bed and connect your iphone to charge and it's connected to wi-fi in your house this will automatically start the backup process now you also have the option to enable the cell data option in case you don't have wi-fi but you still want to back up and you also have the option to back up now in case you just want to go ahead and start the backup instantly once you connect your iPhone to the power source and you don't want to wait for it to automatically do it. Now, once you do that, once it is enabled, everything that's green here will be backed up to the cloud. Now, when you update your iPhone, it's not going to delete everything. It should go according to plan, right? Everything should update and you should have everything, your messages, your photos, but keep in mind you're making a big jump, iOS 14 over to iOS 15 and things could go wrong at any moment. Remember, this is software, no software is perfect. So you want to be prepared to make sure you back up everything to the cloud. However, if you don't use the cloud, for example, I don't use the cloud for photos, you want to make sure you connect your iPhone to a computer and make sure you save and back up all your photos before you update to iOS 15. In case anything goes wrong, you can go ahead and save those pictures before the process has begun. Now, the next thing you also want to do is make sure that everything that you want to back up to the cloud is turned to green. So it's enabled right here. So once you click that backup button, everything you see here will be transferred over to your new device in case it does crash and you have to restore. Again, when you update to iOS 15, everything should be left on your device, like your messages, everything within your messages will be there. Your photos and everything should be there if everything goes according to plan. But again, if it doesn't and something happens, you have a backup, you wanna be safe. Now, if you wanna save all your messages and things like that, you also wanna make sure that this is enabled as well. So when you do update your device, if anything goes wrong, you have everything saved to the cloud. Now, if you don't have enough iCloud storage, I recommend you back up to a physical computer or you can manage your storage right here and update to additional storage in order to save all your data. Now, you can go ahead and choose a different data plan right here and this will allow you to purchase additional data in case you don't have enough data in the cloud in order to back up all your photos your videos your messages messages attachments apps apps data everything so if your iCloud is full this is another option if you want to just use the iCloud for all your backup options you can enable uh, 50 gigs with just one dollar a month so that's also a great deal there if you uh, prefer to use the cloud or you can just save everything directly to another computer computer, right? So something other than uh, the cloud, you can do something physically, maybe an external hard drive as well once you transfer everything. Uh, now, one thing I do want to mention, and this has been an issue that I've come across after using the beta for several months now, you want to head on over to your password section here. And under password, you want to go ahead and and select the passwords that are most important to you that you do not remember and then long press on it and then copy the username or password or share it over AirDrop to another device so that you have your username and passwords for your most important accounts because I've noticed that after updating to iOS 15, sometimes Face ID has forgotten my passwords for uh, banking information. So logging into banking applications, sometimes Face ID forgets the information for some reason and then that 
way you can save those username and passwords for your most important uh, right there under the passwords category. Just simply press and hold and copy those to notes and then make sure you delete them later, but make sure you just copy and save them somewhere where they're safe until you make sure that iOS 15 is working properly. Now, uh, I haven't experienced this issue with uh, Touch ID devices, but with Face ID devices, as I mentioned, some of the most important passwords I recommend you save, send them over to your Mac if you have a Mac or iPad over AirDrop so that you have those saved in case things go wrong. Make sure you follow these instructions before you update to iOS 15. Thank you for watching today's video, guys. Good luck, and I'll see you guys on the other side. Peace.